The transfer window is now in full swing, and despite the club already landing two deals, the club are said to see more walk through the door this summer. In today's video, we will discuss what a Scottish football expert has said with regards to Jota's replacement, whilst also rounding up all the latest Celtic news from the last 24 hours. But first, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. As the pre-season gets underway, there's a new dynamic shaping up at Celtic Park, and it's all centred around one man, Brendan Rodgers. In his return to the helm, the Irishman has been given the final say over all transfers, which is already influencing the club's recruitment strategy. In the past, Celtic signings were largely influenced by a collective decision-making process, with the manager's input being one among many. However, this summer things are different. The players that have been brought into the fold so far were not initially on Rodgers' radar, yet, given the terms of his return, he has had the final say on in all incoming transfers, green lighting each deal. The new arrangement has seen Celtic secure the signatures of several players, despite them not being Rodgers' initial targets. The most recent one of these is the expected signing of Yang Hoyon Jun, a move that Rodgers has again personally approved. Behind the scenes, Mark Law and his scouting team are working tirelessly to identify potential targets. They have a sizeable budget at their disposal, and Rodgers has the freedom to use as he sees fit. This has sparked excitement among Celtic fans, who are eager to see who the manager will bring in to bolster the squad. Sources close to the club have told us that Rodgers is not specifically looking to break Celtic's £9 million transfer fee record. However, they also stated that the Celtic manager will not hesitate to splash the cash if the right player comes along. The team is also preparing for the upcoming season as the transfer activities continue. The boys are set to jet off to Portugal next week for a pre-season training camp. This will be a crucial time for Rodgers to integrate his new signings into the squad and prepare the team for the challenges that lie ahead. Just a quick one boys and girls to tell you that we have a new drop available on our website. We have the Brendan Rodgers Pope tee along with the Celtic Ultra t-shirts. Do browse the collection by going down to the link in the description or going to celtapparel.com. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. Celtic boss Brennan Rodgers will have a replacement ready for Jota. Speaking exclusively to Football Insider, former Rangers defender Alan Hutton said that even with Benfica sell on clause, the sale of Jota is still worthwhile for the hoops. The Celts confirmed the departure of the 24-year-old to Saudi Arabian side Al Ittihad on Monday. The winger has put pen to paper on a three-year contract with the Saudi Pro League champions. The deal is reportedly worth £25 million, with Jota's former club Benfica set to pocket 30% of the fee due to a selling clause in the Hoops' contract. The attacker joined Parkhead on loan from the Portuguese club in 2021 and made the permanent switch last summer after the Hoops triggered the option to buy worth around £6.5 million. Hutton was surprised by Jota's move, but doesn't blame the club or the player for accepting the offer. He said, I must admit, I thought people were at it when I first heard about it. I understand from his point of view the money that is over there, the superstars that are going over there at this moment in time. There is a huge transfer fee. Celtic bought him for £6.5 million, so to even get him for £25 million and have to give 30% to Benfica is still worth it. I am pretty sure Brendan Rodgers would have wanted to keep him, but that being said, he will have already found a replacement and before the club sanctioned the deal. With the money they have, it will likely be a top-level player that comes in to fill his boots. Celtic want to add a goalkeeper to the squad in the coming weeks, according to reports. The reliable Mark Hendry from Football Scotland has shared an update on the club's transfer plans. Vasilis Barkas is away after being released earlier this summer, whilst Connor Hazard is close to joining Plymouth Argyle, according to the Daily Record. That leaves just Joe Hart, Scott Bain and Sigaras as the main goalkeeping options. The club haven't strengthened since the signing of the latter last summer, but now it appears that manager Brendan Rodgers would like to add someone new. The Football Scotland report says recruitment meetings have shown up the goalkeeping position as one area in particular the club are hoping to add to in the coming weeks. The report also suggests that Rodgers would like a keeper who is comfortable with the ball at his feet. Crucially, he wants someone who can provide serious competition for Hart next season. The former England international has been an important figure since he joined from Tottenham Hotspur two years ago. With just one more year to run on his deal, many may have expected Celtic not to address this issue until next summer. But it seems like Rodgers and the recruitment team are being proactive and that a keeper will join soon. The question now is where he will fit into next season. Watch this space. Celtic Stadium Tours emerged as a leading attraction in TripAdvisor's prestigious Travel's Choice Best of the Best Awards for the past year. Demonstrating the unparalleled excellence, Celtic Park's guided stadium tour secured an impressive sixth position 
in the highly competitive top overall experiences category for UK attractions. Notably, this achievement has also marked them as the highest ranked experience in Glasgow. The accolade bestowed upon Celtic Tours is a testament to the unwavering commitment to providing visitors with an exceptional and memorable experience. TripAdvisor's Best of the Best Awards evaluate the average quality of reviews submitted by guests showcasing the undeniable appeal and success of Celtic Park's guided stadium tours. The tour guides themselves are passionate Celtic fans, and the way they interwine their own experiences and feelings with the Celtic Tour puts them a cut above. Out of the 20 prestigious awards presented by the United Kingdom this year, only six were granted to Scotland. This accomplishment highlights the outstanding contribution of Celtic Tours to the country's tourism industry. It is worth noting that 15 of the UK awards were distributed among the attractions in either Edinburgh or the Greater London area, making Celtic Tours' achievement even more remarkable. TripAdvisor describes the best of the best awards as its highest honour, recognising their platform's top 1% of listings. The accolade is a reflection of the exceptional quality and quantity of travellers' reviews and ratings that Celtic Tours has garnered over the past year. As travellers' opinions hold significant weight in determining award recipients, Celtic Tours' well-deserved inclusion in this exclusive group is a testament to their commitment to excellence. Celtic Tours continues to exceed expectations by providing an outstanding visitor experience that resonates with fans, tourists and football enthusiasts alike. Their guided stadium tours offer a unique opportunity to explore the iconic Celtic Park, immersing visitors in this club's rich history and heritage. With this latest recognition from TripAdvisor's Best of the Best Awards, Celtic Tours reaffirms its position as a premier destination for football lovers and tourists seeking an unforgettable experience. Former Celtic captain Scott Brown has signed a new contract with Fleetwood Town. Brown has been manager of League One side for 12 months. The Fisherman finished 13th last season and reached the fifth round of the FA Cup in a positive first campaign for the ex midfielder. Things at Fleetwood have been uncertain recently after owner Andy Pulley was jailed for fraud earlier this week, but Brown's job is clearly not in threat as they announced the big news on Friday afternoon. In a club statement they wrote, Fleetwood Town are delighted to announce head coach Scott Brown has signed a new two-year contract with the club, meaning he will stay on Fly Coast until 2025. The news comes after an interesting summer that saw Brown linked with a return to Celtic. Just as Celtic were closing in and appointing Brendan Rodgers, it was reported that Brown could be brought back as part of his backroom team. The Scottish Sun said that Brown was in the frame to be Rodgers' number two if John Kennedy made the move to Tottenham Hotspur. The report also said that Brown and Rodgers are in constant contact. As it was, Kennedy remained in Glasgow along with Gavin Strachan and Harry Cowell. There was no obvious space for Brown, not that he would necessarily have quit Fleetwood anyway. Brown returning to Celtic at some stage seems very likely, especially if he continues to perform well down south. Whether that's as a coach or the main man, we'll have to wait and see. Celtic fans, what do you make of this summer and how many players do we as a club need to bring in to win the title and compete on all fronts next season? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys. Make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. Remember we have released our brand new Celtic t-shirts. We have our Brendan Rodgers Pope t-shirt and our Celtic Ultra t-shirts too. You can find them at CelticPower.com or just go down to the link in the description. Thank you, take care, bye bye.